Uh, absolutely. So I'll want to call on my colleagues from the group, uh, Nirav and Forum here, along with Mr. Kapoor. So can, can you come forward right here? Because we all contributed and uh, can all the group one people raise your hands? So fantastic. Big hand for group one, everyone. Yeah, we are number one. And uh, um, uh, ma'am, I want to tell you, you are completely in sync with our thoughts already. Because what you said, <laughs> what you said is uh, almost what we've put there. So um, uh, our, our topic is, was, how can industry play a greater role in the skills ecosystem? And uh, so the key issues, so it's, we follow the format that CIF followed across all the breakaway groups. So the key issues that we identified was that the skilling work today is happening. It is happening, there's been a lot of progress, but it's happening in silos. As such, there's been a lot of duplication of efforts as well as infrastructure. Uh, <clears throat> how does it get sustained? Is monetization an answer is also a question mark. Uh, education uh, lacking basics of skilling, going back into the domain of education in India itself. Um, and while the curriculum might be amazing, but how does it get dispensed on ground with our uh, future talent? Um, <clears throat> we, of course, uh, did a lot of problem solving, almost one hour, 30 minutes of it, and group one had the following contributions to make in solving the problem. What we uh, proposed was uh, industry co-created curriculum. Uh, it is being done in bits, but can we have this as a standard uh, our sector skill councils do that, but can we have it across as a standard? Uh, the biggest challenge was how does everybody come together? Is there a stock exchange for the demand and the supply coming together? So we said a, a consolidated online on-cloud skill marketplace portal, which will have the following different swim lanes, uh, skill value mapping, skill certification including assessments, minimum wage compliance, career growth path, apprenticeship, jobs, uh, sponsorships, fundings for individuals and institutions, and also adopting IDIs, which uh, are many in number across the nation, but uh, they a lot of times are not able to perform uh, the outcomes what they're supposed to. Uh, we also spoke of infrastructure sharing by industry organizations for skill coaching. Uh, possibly over the weekends, uh, <clears throat> organizations that uh, are part of that industry forum, can we volunteer, give our own space infrastructure over the weekends to be able to uh, do those skilling workshops. Along with that, industry specialist volunteers, each one skill one. If we are able to do that, uh, and all of this happening on that stock exchange, on that uh, supply demand stock exchange. Uh, and finally, support needed from uh, the honorable uh, ministers as well as the government of India and uh, our state governments. Uh, the funding of the on cloud online skill marketplace portal. And why I say this, there have been such amazing programs run by government of India, which um, whether it's PF, uh, whether it is, uh, I, I can, um, yeah? Passport. Yes, the, the whole passport system. There's so many things in the last five to seven years have just got solved, which used to be a nightmare for everyone. Uh, so can skill and jobs also have this uh, one place, something like a UAN or Aadhaar? Can it all come together? Allowing mo monetization by industry, and we leave it to the government to suggest how this monetization can happen. Uh, being compliant to all the laws of the land. Uh, <clears throat> national, international branding, like all the other su successful programs of the government of India and the state governments, and allowing international subscriptions to the portal too, because there will be a lot of uh, uh, players, even global players, who will be interested in the demographic of our nation, 1.3 billion, and our goal of uh, 5 trillion now. So this was it. I leave uh, the last two minutes for questions for group one. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> questions later, Bhavna. So uh, this is what group one had to present. Uh, so big hand to group one. Thank you so much.